Hello, and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will look at the cut command that can help you trim down files, in particularly log files. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can learn to prioritize. The cut program is a utility to remove sections from each line of a file. You can cut sections by byte, which is basically by position within the line, or by characters, or by delimiters. Potential users of cut in digital forensics, incidents, response, and system administration is that you can massage log files to show you only what you want to see. The basic syntax of cut is basically just the command cut, and then at least one of the options to select the selection criteria, and then the file to operate the command upon, or the standard input if there is no specified input file. On the right hand side over here, we have the original Etsy password file. So you can see what the entire line is. Let's explore each of the options. The first one is to cut by byte. So we can specify just one byte and the cut command will return just that one byte of each line. So if we do cut dash B, the number one for the first byte, and then the input file of Etsy password, we see that we get return just the very first byte of every line. We can also specify a range to cut by specifying a number, then a dash, and then a second number. So we, if we do cut dash B, one dash five slash Etsy password, then what we get back is basically the first through fifth bytes of each line. We can also specify a list of bytes by using the comma. So if we do cut dash B, one comma three dash five slash Etsy password, now the result is the first byte and then the third through fifth bytes of each line. We can specify the dash when we want to go from a number to the end of the line. So if we do cut dash B, five dash, Etsy password, it's going to return basically the fifth byte through the end of each line. Or if we use the dash first and then a number to specify, what we'll get is everything before that character number. So if we do cut dash B of dash five slash Etsy password, what gets returned is the beginning of the line through the fifth byte for every line. Another way to specify what to cut is by fields. By default, cut uses a tab as the field separator or delimiter, but you can set it to anything else using the dash D option. So for the slash Etsy password file, since the delimiter is a colon, let's set that using the dash D option. So if we do cut dash D, double quote, colon, double quote, then dash F, one comma five slash Etsy slash password. We have now set the delimiter to colons and then we have told cut that we only want fields one and field five. So this will print out the first field and then the fifth field as separated by colons. So for the Etsy password file, we're gonna get the username and then the long form of the username. And we can also use the dash dash complement option to print everything except for what's specified. So if we do cut dash D, double quote, colon, double quote, dash F, one, comma, two, comma, five, dash dash complement, slash Etsy password, this will now print out everything except for fields one, two, and five. So what we're remaining with is gonna be fields three, four, six and onwards. We can also set the output delimiter using the dash dash output delimiter option. So let's go ahead and print out the long name first and then the phrase AKA followed by the username. So we're gonna do cut dash D, double quote colon double quote, dash F five comma one, dash dash output dash delimiter equals single quote space AKA space single quote slash Etsy password. So as we can see in the output, it prints out column one first, which is the username. 
And then the separator now is going to be the phrase AKA. And then lastly, we're going to print out the long name, which is column 5. Notice that the output order doesn't reflect the specified field numbers of 5 and then 1. Cut will only print in the order that it reads the fields. So it doesn't matter what we specify here in terms of ordering, it will always order it according to how it reads it in. And if we want to add special characters like a tab or new line to the output, we have to use the dollar character before the string to escape that from the bash shell. So let's do cut dash D, double quote colon, double quote, dash F five comma one, dash dash output dash delimiter equals dollar, single quote, backslash N for new line, backslash T for tab, aka space, single quote, slash Etsy password. And what we see here is that now we see the output of the first field read, which is the username, followed by a line feed, followed by a tab, followed by the words AKA, and then lastly, the field five, which is the long username. And so if we do want to reorder the output, we can play some tricks with awk and other utilities. So this is a uh, way we can use awk to do it in conjunction with cut, or uh, you can also just use awk straight out. The third way to cut sections besides by byte and delimiters is by character. The difference between cutting by byte and character is that in some languages or encoding sets, a character takes more than one byte. If we look at files encoded in ASCII or Latin encoding languages like many Western European languages, these are single byte character encodings. So if we use the cut command with dash B or dash C, the results are the same. Now, let's take a look at a file encoded with a two-byte language, such as the non-ASCII European languages and many Middle Eastern languages. So I'm going to do a cat of Yaxbravi, and this is the contents of the file. And we can use the cut command to cut out sections of text. Let's cut out the character that looks like a K, which is byte number two. So we do cut dash B number two of Yaxbravi. This returns with gibberish, right? This question mark. So let's try it again, as we now know that the file is using double byte language. So the character that looks like a K is actually bytes three and byte four, because the first character is byte one and byte two. So if we do cut dash B three dash four, Yaxbravi. So this does the right thing and returns with the K character. Using the same line of thinking, let's go ahead and use the dash C option for cut and specify to cut out the character that looks like a K, which is the second character. So if we do cut dash C, the number two, Yaxbravi, and we get gibberish again, what's going on? Well, the reason is that the version of cut that I'm using is part of the GNU core utils and this version of cut does not correctly implement the dash C option. It just does whatever the dash B option does. Since that's not a satisfying feeling, I'm going to my Mac, which is running Z shell and using the BSD version of cut, which does implement the dash C option. So let's try to cut out the second character of the file again by using cut dash C, the number two of Yaxbravi. So that looks good. And now let's uh, go back and try the byte, make sure that works as well. We're gonna cut out the third and fourth bytes. So cut dash B, three dash four, Yaxbravi. And everything works as expected. Let's look at an example of a three byte encoding, which is common with Asian character sets. Here's a file with a few characters. If we cut out by bytes, we have to cut out three bytes for each character, right? Because it's a three byte encoding. So let's say we want to pick the middle character to display. So we're going to do cut dash B of bytes four through six. 
and then the file ni hama and the same thing again for cutting characters if we do cut dash c the number two of ni hama it returns with just the second character all right so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about the cut command which can select or filter out columns or fields of interest from files. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.